Joining me now this morning is Intuit Vice President Terry Hicks. Terry also serves as the general manager of the QuickBooks online ecosystem. And Terry, you know, a lot of times we talk about the health of small business often, often being an indicator of the health of the economy. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about the health of small business. Well, business since the end of the recession, 60% mm -hmm. uh, of the jobs that have been created in the U.S. have come through small businesses. Small business. So it's a really exciting uh, trend, and it really just shows how much small business is that barometer of the economy. Yeah, you know, one thing as well, just to get a definition in here, when we know what we're talking about when we talk about small businesses, that's a company that has fewer than 500 employees. Is that right? We, and we focus on businesses that are much smaller than that. Mm -hmm. um, we focus on businesses that are really right around the corner from your house with probably as few as two or three or four or five employees, yeah. so much, much smaller. And a lot of them home-based. Many home-based businesses. In fact, a lot of the trends that you see is mm -hmm. that uh, with sort of technology, more entrepreneurs are able to connect with their dream of starting a small business by by taking advantage of uh, some of the capabilities that technology uh, enables. Mm -hmm. uh, I was doing a little reading this morning about small businesses, and I was surprised to find that uh, the fastest growing sectors in small business are auto repair shops, beauty salons, and dry cleaners. Mm -hmm. What does that tell you about the economy? Well, the, when we look at small businesses, really the strongest set of small businesses that we see are service businesses, mm. businesses that are in your neighborhood helping mm -hmm. you get those key important jobs done that you need to get done, done as a consumer. Right. Um, and so the, what we see is uh, a lot of these technology trends that are happening are also very helpful to those small businesses to connect with their customers and build strong relationships and help them succeed and thrive even more. You also mentioned the fact that uh, we've seen an increase in e-commerce. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Well, w w as I mentioned, some of the technologies that are happening really are creating platforms that allow small businesses to reach customers in new ways. I, I have some cufflinks on today that came from Etsy, for example. Ah, and that's mm -hmm. a small design, they came from a small design studio actually based in New York that would have never had ex access to me as a customer without tapping into one of the capabilities of that platform. Are you finding that e-commerce could conceivably drive the, uh, you know, the brick and mortar shops away? I don't think it's really about driving brick and mortar shops away. Really, a lot of these capabilities reflect how a small business already serves their customers mm -hmm. and allows them to do what they already do is connect with their small connect with their customers from wherever the small business is operating or their employees are working. So, for example, uh, I met a couple weeks ago a woman named Anne, who, as a as a part of the downturn, lost her job in advertising, was a music minor in college, decided to start teaching music lessons. And now she runs her entire business, which is a network of independent music teachers, mm -hmm. over 20 of them. R they all run that business on their mobile devices. That's amazing. That's so it's very local business, face to face. Yeah, definitely. Uh, tell us a little bit about some tips that you would have for someone who's thinking about starting a small business. Because I think in the back of most people's mind, I want to work for myself. You know, I, I want to get out there and do it for myself. Well, I think we've learned a lot. We have a passion for seeing small businesses succeed, and so we're constantly studying um, what's going on with small businesses. And mm -hmm. one of the things that was a real surprising trend is that two-thirds of small businesses start with less than $10,000 in cash. Wow, that is surprising. And most of it is their own personal savings yes. or on a credit card. Mm -hmm. And so the thing that we always advise, and actually small businesses themselves who have succeeded, gotten through that tough first year, say that financial management is probably the number one thing they wish they, wish they had invested invested in more in that first couple of years, really knowing what's going on with the money coming in and the money going out of my business. Yeah, that's the one thing I guess that a lot of small business owners don't really study enough of mm -hmm. is how to deal with the financial aspect mm -hmm. of it. That's that's true. And we try to make it very easy because, uh, you know, accounting and bookkeeping, that kind of stuff is the last thing that a small business wants to spend time on. Right. They want to spend time pursuing their passion, serving their customers. So we really try to focus on making it very easy with QuickBooks, with Mm -hmm. uh, to, in order to connect with that. In fact, where we're going with QuickBooks is connecting QuickBooks with many of these platforms like Etsy or Airbnb so that uh, the financial information just automatically flows. So it's not another burden mm -hmm. on the small business owner's time, uh, they're, but they're able to get the insights that they need to be successful. So it's seamless. It's very way. seamless. Yeah. And and we, one of the other things we try to do, and, and you mentioned QuickBooks Connect, a conference mm -hmm. we have coming up locally. Yeah, it's on our, the information's on our screen now. It's yeah. taking place in a couple of weeks. Absolutely. 
absolutely. And that's a place where really it's not just about accounting, but it's about what are the what are the capabilities and who are the experts I can connect with so that I can learn how to be successful in my business. Well, it's an exciting time to be an entrepreneur. Terry, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much, Marty. All right, we'll be right back.